question. The compulsory question is question number 25. Okay. So what they are asking is write the importance of herbaria. Sometimes they are asking the same question. Explain the significance of herbarium. Okay. Explain the significance of herbarium. Okay. So the same question. Importance. Otherwise they are asked significance of herbarium. Okay. First we are going to discuss the what are the importance or significance of herbarium. The first point they given. Herbarium is a source of knowledge about the flora. Flora means what? Plant. Eh? Flora of a of a what country or a particular locality or a place okay so this is the main point the herbarium is a source of knowledge about the flora flora means what plant okay uh, the flora of a country or a locality then second point it is a data store data store means information in which the information of plants available okay so second point lena solranga it is a data store in which the information of plant available enna plant available argo adha vandu data store ah vandu adha notes vechirupanga adha dhaan herbarium oda importance adutha the type specimen help in the current correct identification of plants what is type specimen in previously in uh, three marks we discussed type specimen because in any recognized uh, uh, herbarium centers they stored uh, already they prepared a herbarium and stored in a recognized uh, herbarium centers so this uh, type specimen helpful for correct identification that's why see in third point monad point la adha solranga the type specimen help in the correct identification of plant okay appo so, idra key answer undu pathina type specimen purudhungala cheri next fourth point la listen it provide material for taxonomical and anatomical taxonomy means classification anatomical means to study the internal what the arrangement of a structure of cell okay appo and the rendu taxonomy anatomy oda studies nama study pandrathukku inda herbarium undu romba useful la irukku purudhungala adutathu paarthina adutha point next point la the typical pollen characters have been well emphasized in taxonomy because the pollen character unaltered unaltered even after 200 years the 200 years varaikum pathina adunoda character enna avada alter aagada purudhungala adha unaltered even for a 200 years nranga adanal dhan pathina the typical pollen character have been well emphasized in taxonomy next last point pathina it is very much useful in the study of cytology what is cytology study of cell then structure of dna numerical taxonomy chemo taxonomy etc okay seringla okay then next question pathina question number 26 draw a neat sketch of anatomy of sunflower leaf and label the parts so this is the diagram okay you observe the diagram and uh, once you draw the diagram and label the parts so see there this is what uh, the anatomy of sunflower okay see there this is called as upper epidermis upper epidermis and this one is lower epidermis lower epidermis so this upper epidermis and lower epidermis both are covered by what uh, the outer layer called cuticle okay but uh, once you compare the upper epidermis and lower epidermis see there the lower epidermis it has epidermal hair growth epidermal hairs okay and then another main importance is see there the lower epidermis as stomata the lower epidermis as this opening regions called as stoma or stomata stoma or stomata then another difference is see there this is the water the center the bundle sheath okay this layer is called a bundle sheath bundle sheath and the inner it has the water the xylem and phloem the xylem this is water metaxylem metaxylem and this one is proto xylem 
okay and the lower part is considered as what phloem what is the importance of xylem and phloem xylem is water conducting phloem is food conducting tissue okay then this is the cortex tissue okay and here this is called mesophyll cells this is called mesophyll cells and uh, this one this one called palisade parenchyma palisade parenchyma and this region is called spongy parenchyma spongy parenchyma okay this is spongy parenchyma this is palisade parenchyma what is the basic difference the spongy parenchyma it has lot of intracellular spaces what is the use of this because of this lot of intracellular spaces the gaseous exchange takes place with with the help of the stomata so the in plant uh, the gaseous exchange that means uh, the plant absorbs co2 as well as is released uh, oxygen okay co2 and uh, oxygen you know this gaseous exchange takes place in the the opening region of the stomata and this is stored in the what the lot of intracellular air spaces present in the spongy parenchyma but here in palisade parenchyma no intracellular air spaces but uh, once if you compared uh, the palisade parenchyma and spongy parenchyma the palisade parenchyma it has lot of uh, what uh, the chloroplast okay compared to this and uh, one more thing the spongy parenchyma is irregular in a uh, shape okay Uh, so this is what uh, the structure of uh, the neat sketch of anatomy of sunflower leaf okay so appo idu vandu pathina 5 mark nu mode diagram 3 marks then plus 2 marks is labeling you need not explain for this question na correct ah purinjikano draw a neat sketch of anatomy of sunflower leaf and label the parts appo idu pathina diagram and labeling purudhungala seriya uh, so appo neenga varanji inda லேபிளிங் பண்ணி வச்சாலே போதும் யூ நீ நாட் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் ஸோ கொஸ்டினே வந்து ட்ரான் தான் கொடுத்துருக்கான் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் அப்படின்னு கொடுக்கல எக்ஸ்பிளைன் ஆர் டிஸ்கிரைப்னு கொடுத்துருந்தா என்ன பண்ணும் டயக்ராம் வரைஞ்சி லேபிள் பண்ணி நோட்ஸ் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ணும் ஸோ இந்த டயக்ராமோட பேஸ் பண்ணி அந்த நோட்ஸை நீங்கள் என்ன பண்ணலாம் பாயிண்ட் வைஸாக போட்டு அழகாக எழுதிடலாம் புரிதுங்களா ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் நம்ம டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணக்கூடியது சிக்னிஃபிகன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ளா